So uh, I'm going to do this video uh, in response to Wings of Pegasus, uh, which commented to me and, and said that he might think that my view of the graph, the pitch correction graph might be too zoomed out or something and that you need to actually maybe zoom in like a lot to actually see if it's really corrected or not. And you might have a point, Pegasus, but uh, I'm going to read your comment before we, before we go into this video. Um, so, Wings of Pegasus. I'm all about the fact-based objective data. I think the reason for the disparity is the view, as the gap from one note to the next is very important as it signifies 100 cents. The closer the lines are, the less variation you you'll see yeah i think he's talking about that the more zoomed out it will the more zoomed out the view is the basically the less detail you get right correct me if i'm wrong pegasus so something that on my screen looks three to five cents flat or sharp will look on the line if the lines are closer together sometimes i expand my views by 300% to show exactly where the pitch is falling. Can you zoom in on the vertical axis to, to see a more accurate representat representation of the pitch? I think if you can, you'll see the same relative pitches personally. I think this is not pitch corrected when compared comparing the results with hundreds of other natural singers. As when you zoom in, you'll see the natural variation of the voice from zero to five cents in tuning zoomed out they'll appear 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 on the line but really they're not thanks i yeah, appreciate you commenting pegasus but uh actually uh i think we got finally got a solution to this uh and thanks to a commenter called nerve Ner never you know you know who you are never uh we got a fan recording of the audio uh, that we're go gonna go through right now and compare it to the official inside of the bus audio. So we're gonna look at that right now. So I'm gonna try to line up uh, some small part from the inside of the bus and outside of the bus and look at the uh, difference. Uh, in pitch or whatever so we're gonna start off with uh let's start off with the in in the bus one or, i mean outside of the bus one Okay, let's pause. Pause that over there. So this does look way different than uh, the ones me and Pegasus looked at because you can see here, but especially here, I believe, if I remember correctly, this one was way down, you know, uh, flat with the line. So let's look at the official one in the bus. Of a living life on a merry go round, and you can find a fighter. But I see it in you, so we go work it out. Move. Wish. Fountain. 175. We go work it out. Okay. So here we can clearly see a big difference. You see? Even here. Like on the other one, it went like over here, like in between the, the lines. And even though this isn't like super flat, it's still pitch corrected in my book. You know, uh, I got this software, Waves Tunes Real Time, and uh, when you put that on, it doesn't always 
completely flatline it, flatline the vocals, unless you actually like put everything to 100%. So, yeah, so there we can clearly see, at least if, if we compare from the bus, outside of the bus and inside of the bus, that something is going on with the pitch correction. So let's uh, continue with the outside of the bus. Now here, this was outside of the bus. Here, uh, it kind of nails it there, right? And even there. Let's compare it to the inside of the bus. Yeah, so this kind of looks pretty similar, right? So, okay, let's continue with outside of the bus first. Okay, now let's look at the inside of the bus. To me, there was just one or two moments where it looked different. Let's go back to outside of the bus. Okay, I want to look at the ache. Let's see if the inside of the bus is in line with that or if it's more in line with the note. Look at the inside of the bus. I think this is the ache line. It is a little bit different. And I don't know if I saw that one in the bus. Uh, outside of the bus. Man, this is confusing. Um, anyways. Okay, that was outside of the bus. Now let's take that back inside of the bus. And I'll do it a thousand Again. Looks slightly more corrected. Let's continue with outside of the bus. Okay. And let's go inside of the bus. Yeah, the straights looks more in line with the uh, notes, you know, with the lines of the notes. Let's go back to the outside of the bus. Okay, this was outside of the bus. Let's go inside. Yeah, 
yeah, it looks straighter, even though it doesn't really fully hit the line. Uh, something's going on. Uh, let's go back outside the bus. Okay, let's go inside of the bus. The silence is quiet. It feels like it's getting hard to breathe. And I know you feel like tired. And I promise we'll take the world to its feet. Okay. Outside of the bus. <laughs> Okay, let's look at that now. I think this is the one where we're going to see the most difference. This this line right here. Let's go back into the bus. Yeah, I mean, to me, this definitely looks pitch corrected. You know what I mean? It really does. Like, I know it's not completely always on the line, but it still looks, it has the this pattern of pitch correction to me in my book, especially when you compare it to the outside of the bus. Take the world to a Yeah, this, this looks a little bit more all over the place, especially here. So the, there's definitely something going on for sure in my book. But uh, let's go back to, let's continue with the outside of the bus. We can walk out. Okay, let's remember this. This is outside of the bus. Let's, let's compare it to inside of the bus. Yeah. So definitely something going on right there, right there, right there, right there. Even here. Even though it's not on the line, something happened here as well. Uh, okay, let's continue with outside of the bus. Okay, let's try to remember that and go inside the bus. Yeah, like here looks weird, there, there. Like it's lo it's looking a little bit tighter for sure in my book. But let's go back to outside. Okay, so this is, I remember this line. This was, this was one of the examples that we looked at, Pegasus and me. And in the outside, it looks slightly above the line there and also slightly above here. Now, if we go back to the same place, 
but inside. All of a sudden, it kind of becomes clear, at least to me, that it is pitch corrected. If you compare it to what we just saw. So, yeah, in this one, I think Pegasus, you're probably wrong in this one. But, uh, I mean, we're only human, right? And, you know, it's very hard. Like, it, it is very hard to detect these things because there is so many different tricks that they can use to, you know, make it look like natural when it's not and this and that. But to me, this, even though it's not exactly on the line, to me, it proves that They've done something to the vocals and hence why it's not natural. Now, uh, I could be wrong, but this is what I think. I think it is pitch corrected. I don't know why the outside is not pitch corrected outside of the bus. But uh, Pegasus, if you want to do do this on, uh, on your end, it will be interesting to see uh, what you if you find the same result or not. But anyways. Remember, I'm just the fast food version of Pegasus, okay? Uh, I just th throw stuff quickly up uh, to see. But again, I, I'm saying this because I, um, I'm really good at hearing if something is pitch corrected, because that is why I, I was started to do. I started to do this because I did reactions. I said I don't think the vocals are natural. Their fan base came at me, calling me all kinds of names. And thanks to Pegasus, actually, it was from Pegasus I um, got the idea to to use the program. I I was like, okay, I need to actually try to prove what I'm saying to these crazy fan bases uh, because they just thought I was trying to hate on the artist. When in reality, I don't hate any artist. I just want it to be real, you know? And this singer is really good. It's just a shame that they have to uh, adjust her vocals. Anyways, uh, if you have any suggestions, put it in the comment section. Peace out.